Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we will look at how to remove echo from a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, let's dive straight in. Here's a podcast client of ours with a bit of echo in the room. Can you dive into that? Right, so as I was doing the research on this at the first time... Okay, you can hear a bit of room echo going on, but it's really easy to remedy this if we go into the effects window and we look for D-reverb. We can drag and drop it onto the dialogue there. We can edit that. And we can just move this from zero to 100%, the easiest way to remove the room echo. Right, can you dive into that? Right, so as I was doing the research on this... Uh, at 56%, it's working really well. Drag it back down. Right, can you dive into that? Right, so as I was doing the research on this... Uh, and you hear how it makes a massive difference. But that's not all. For the moment, I'm going to bypass that effect and we're going to go to some other ideas as well. Uh, the other one is to try out parametric equalizer. Now, if you have a play with this, you can really drag out some of the bad frequencies in your audio that contain echo. So I'm doing this without the D-reverb applied. And what I'm going to do is notch up one of these EQ bands here and make it smaller by changing the Q width on a couple of them. So one on the three, one on the four. And we'll bring this up and we'll scan through as we play. Right. Can you dive into that? Right. So as I was doing the research on this uh, the first time I presented it was, it's just three. Around about here, we've got some pretty terrible stuff going on. So let's widen that out. Easy words. Tracy. Let's drag that out. So the first one is how the culture. So that's helping to remove some room frequencies that contain the echo. Again, I could do this a second time with this not. So the invisible glue that keeps your business team rolling and energetic and productive is based on what do you believe? Okay. How do you behave towards each other? And how do you make decisions? Okay, more echo going on there. Let's drag that out right there. So you just have to. Okay, so now we've added that in and I might drag that ahead of D reverb. We can have parametric equalizer with frequencies pulled out, D-reverb applied. Let's listen now to what we've got. Right, can you dive into that? Right, so as I was... Sounding really clean. I might just back that off a little bit now I've done some EQ work. I've research on this at the first time that I presented. And the final thing you can do, obviously this has music in the background, so we don't want to do this on this particular clip, but if this was dialogue without music mixed in, I'd also go ahead and add in the dynamics effect, drag and drop it, and I'd edit and I'd add an auto gate, which is going to allow me it was, it's just three to block out some of the background audio. You can hear it ducking down when the speech stops. Now, obviously, in this particular case, there is music that's getting ducked out, but if you have a pure piece of dialogue with nothing else in the background and you want to remove as much echo as possible, remember those three effects. Parametric EQ to scan through and pull out the echo from the room, D-reverb to do most of the legwork, and then finally dynamics and auto gate to gate out some of the bad echo frequencies. And what that will do when you set the threshold correctly, it's going to pull out a lot of the room sound that you don't need to be there by muting anything that goes below a certain level. So anything that's not voice will be muted and you'll get a much cleaner recording. Let me know if you have any questions about removing echo in Adobe Premiere Pro in the comments down below. Make sure to like, also subscribe to my channel so you can see more audio production videos and ding the bell so you never miss anything.